Ian Duncan Smith has ridiculed Project Fear claims the Queen could be evacuated from Buckingham Palace if there is a no-deal Brexit. The Tory MP laughed off reports that the royal family could be moved from London in the event of riots sparked by the UK leaving the EU without a deal. It follows claims that Whitehall officials had revived Cold War plans to relocate Her Majesty in an emergency. Mr Duncan Smith dismissed the reports, insisting that any anger over Brexit is unlikely to be directed at the royals. Writing in The Telegraph, he said, I fancy there is a greater likelihood of anger from the public if they find out their vote to leave has been rejected by Parliament or if they are forced to delay or hold a second referendum. But even in such an event I do not believe for one moment that it would spill over into threats against the monarchy. Yet the civil contingencies bunch have dusted off the Cold War plans which were expressly drawn up in the event of a nuclear threat, yes, that's right, a nuclear threat. How ridiculous is that? Mr Duncan Smith branded the claims nonsense, adding that the royals did not even leave the capital during World War II bombing. He said, after all, these plans are for the royal family a family which stayed in London as real bombs rained down from German aircraft during the Second World War. What a lot of incredible nonsense! It comes after a cabinet source told the Sunday Times, these emergency evacuation plans have been in existence since the Cold War, but have now been repurposed in the event of civil disorder following a no-deal Brexit. Tory Brexit ear Jacob Rees Mogg accused those responsible for the royal evacuation plans of being overexcited. Mr. Rees Mogg said, The overexcited officials who have dreamt up this nonsense are clearly more students of fantasy than of history. The monarch's place is always in the capital, as the late Queen Mother, wife of George VI, made very clear during the Blitz. Last month, the Queen urged people to find common ground and respect different points of view during a speech at a Sandringham Women's Institute meeting, in what was widely seen as a veiled reference to Brexit.